Hey, this is me, Matthew, again, drinking the brew, drinking Deschutes Brewing's Squeezy Rider West Coast IPA. As I made my descent into um, hop fandom. Hey, Kimber. here. Yes. Hi. Hi, Kira. Yes. You gonna say hi? No. No. Down. Okay. Go. Go. All done. Yeah. Go play. Go. Not a chance. I mean, she was on her way before I interrupted her and called her over, so it's my fault. Anyways, as I've made my descent into a hop fandom, I have recognized that West Coast IPAs, that's where it's at. That's that's the right the right amount of hoppiness for me, which is to say all the hoppiness. Um, not that I don't appreciate East Coast or hazy IPAs or um, other forms of beer. Certainly not. Y'all know that. I love beer. But if I'm given a choice of IPA in general, or if I were to, to try to say which style contains the most specific single beers that I have enjoyed the most recently. West Coast IPA is where that's at. Uh, West Coast IPAs are um, usually bracingly bitter. <clears throat> Lots of pine as opposed to citrus. Sometimes citrus too, but pine. Pine bitterness. Um, and there is not the... Um, there's not so much sweetness or creaminess as you would expect to find in a hazy or a northeast IPA. Uh, that's not to say that, though this is actually a location-based thing, um, there are West Coast-style IPAs made places besides the West Coast. There are hazies, northeast IPAs, made many places other than the northeast. <laughs> I mean, it's a super popular style, so every brewery that wants to profit is making hazy IPAs. But West Coast IPA is a style that's kind of emblematic or iconic of West Coast beer making, West Coast IPA making, and it's characterized by a strong, unapologetic, bitter hoppiness. One time, I don't know if someone actually asked me or if I was just trying to justify to myself, why do I like things that I call bitter? Um, why do I like spicy food? Spice actually tells your brain that there's pain, literally. Um, you know, like peppers and such, capsaicin. Um, I like them. Uh, there's no accounting for taste. It's not that I'm a, a masochist. Um, it's just that those are the flavors and experiences that I like. So, uh, anyways, let's dive in. Just uh, with my nose, before I got right into it, there was some tropical notes coming up from this. Which might be something indicative of, or more common to a hazy, or a northeast IPA. Yeah, some pineapple, passion fruit. Uh, not really mango or guava, but like pineapple and passion fruit. Hmm. Not really picking up anything else there. Color-wise, it's definitely pale. It's uh, maybe partially filtered or unfiltered. I can actually see a little bit through it, but it is mostly a translucent and not transparent. It smells juicy. It smells like it's going to be a good time. Effortlessly, effortlessly West Coast, intensely tropical, freshly squeezed. They have a couple uh, squeeze metaphors or squeeze references in various Deschutes IPAs that I've read this year on their label. That's interesting. I wonder if there's a theme going on in the brewery. That's right. The um, the Royal, the Royal Fresh. I think it's called the Royal Fresh was had a reference to squeeze on it as well.
Mm. Okay. So, when you smell the tropical notes, you're expecting sweet, sugar-laden fruit kind of flavors, right? You're expecting pineapple, which is a super sweet fruit. Or passion fruit, which is a super sweet fruit. Or mango, which is... Alright, you see where I'm going. But, this one, it smells tropical. And there is definitely the, the essence of tropical in the flavor, but it's a dry tropical. So, um, if you took those fruits and um, extracted most of the sugar and were left with just the essence, like the, the, the non-sweet flavor elements, that's probably what this would be. It's smooth, it has a relatively creamy taste. A um, couple different layers to the flavor, um, but it's just, you're, you're expecting sweetness, but instead you, you're not getting, the bitterness comes later. Uh, you get this kind of eau de tropical, this essence of, of tropical flavors without, without feeling like you're biting into the fruit. And the tropical notes come really up front. And then it feels like they kind of bloom a little bit. And then and then they fade. And there's the slightest hint of sweetness. And then coming up under that is this, this really nice the, the West Coast bitter that that's really good that I that I really appreciate about West Coast IPAs. But it the that the slight kind of subtle f- sweet finish never goes away. Like it's going in tandem with that um, the herbal piney bitter note finish. That's that's pretty interesting. That's quite a quite a tale of a beer. Hmm. I like that. That's a good one. Um, you could say it's kind of maybe like a an orange peel uh, kind of flavor. You know, in that that essence of fruit, but but bitter um, or not sweet instead. But it wouldn't be like a like a a navel orange. It wouldn't. It would be a a, a lower acidity orange, le- less bright flavor. Um, which is why I might say maybe a, a Florida orange or something. I I don't know all the orange styles. I know there's Cara Cara. There's uh, blood orange, there's um, navel, which is the one I grew up with in California, um, and and others. But I'm I'm exp- I'm finding a, a a sweet and less acidic orange peel, um, or the peel of an orange that is more sweet and less acidic, is the 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 note that you might be able to recognize there in the first part of the beer and then it fades and you get just that that leftover residual sweetness and the sweetness is really low like i'm not saying that my earlier uh bloviations <laughs> regarding it being uh uh you know a, a, a non-sweet tropical i'm not saying that that was wrong there's very little sweetness in this you have that kind of dry tropical note up front but also there's that citrus that ties in there and then you have this just kind of subtle sweetness and it might even be just sweet in contrast to what you had in your mouth immediately previous um you know like if you're looking at a you ever looked at the 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 american flag picture but it's like black and this weird green and you stare at it for for several minutes and and then you look at a white page and and you see like the reverse shadow of an American flag and the right colors, right? So it's like the the reverse shadow of a flavor. You have one flavor in your mouth, and once that's gone, you're tasting kind of the reverse. You're left with this this shadow flavor kind of thing. So it's almost like this shadow of sweetness that goes along with the um that the piney bitter finish note. And uh, yeah, that's really tasty. I enjoy that. That's a, a nicely complex and savorable IPA. Anyways, uh, this is me, Matthew. I've been drinking and enjoying Squeezy Rider West Coast IPA by Deschutes Brewing out of Oregon. I will catch y'all on the flip side. Bye.